Hello everyone, welcome again to Isaac, episode 5. I think I'm going to use Maggie again, because that's who I nearly always use. And if we feel like we're not getting very good items, then I might switch back to Isaac, or give, maybe even give Eve a try, but... At the moment, moment it doesn't seem too bad. I mean, last episode I got a whole load of extra little buddies to help me out, and I still seem to be getting, and I've got quite a lot of Devil Room items, so I seem to be getting quite a lot of stuff with Maggie, so we'll go with her for the moment. So it's a spectral shot, it's good. Notoriously difficult to put out, put out fires with them, though. Um, but it's only a minor detail, isn't it? So it's these guys out. In fact, I wonder if spectral shots kind of do less damage, but just they have the advantage of being spectral and going through rocks and stuff, obviously. Um, the tower. A useful card for mass devastation. And get rid of that fly. Grab that coin. Get rid of that poop, gradually. With spectral. Um see what's down this way. Oh, got him before he could shoot us. That was well timed. Come on. Right. Uh, we don't have a key to get into the shop, let alone enough coins. Get rid of the flies. Looks like we're done. We might just check that for secret room here. Very quick, as we have two bombs. Nope. And so we'll see what boss we have. Gemini. First time this series, I think. And it's not actually connected. It's a non-connected version. It's a blue rock down there. So we've got what we got from it. A bomb and a blue heart. Okay. Okay, it's a bit fiddly when it's not connected together. You can usually take advantage of the fact that he has a limited... Uh, limited maneuverability but at the moment the little one can go completely separately I was just about to say they're kind of acting like they're connected anyway but not so much just then okay and then little one's gone crazy she's pretty easy to take out at this point come on then angry baby Flying through the air! Oh, come on. Time for nap. There you go. Right. So, we've got some range up. Load of hearts that we don't need. And so we'll pop down to the next level. Basement number two. What you gonna do? So we've got, uh, we haven't got nearly enough coins for the shop. I don't think we go collect that many just yet. So we'll go straight for the special item. She's damage up. She's, well, need her. I don't seem to be doing anything now I've got damage up. Okay, that's better. Um, so, let's see what's down this way. Ooh, we've got our fortune telling machine again. An extra coin for it, should we choose to use them on that? Um, oh, come on. Shall we? I think we might as well throw them in there. We've only got two. You are worshipping a sun god. And go outside! Okay, so. Oh, we could use one heart on there and then take it back. I guess, yeah, I could treat those rooms with those spikes that I don't like as the same way I treat the heart donation machines where I'll leave them to last but if I do have lots of hearts lying around then actually I can oh actually I can shoot this through the rock can't I because of spectral then actually I can make use of those rooms a little bit in that scenario because oops Um, can't get to that unless I use a bomb. So use this machine again. Hmm. 
Ooh, blue heart. Okay. See, now I don't want to use that room because I don't want to waste a blue heart. Might as well use my yum heart. Oh, damn it. It's items when you pick up and use and they make you freeze on the spot. Um. Okay, screw it. I'm going to put two hearts on this room. Oh, I only took half. That took a full one and it has given me a chest, but I don't have a key for it. Okay. Should I blow up the machine, see if it gives me a key? Nope, it's giving me a bunch of coins. Go back this way, grab the heart on the way. And we'll just move on from all that experimentation. Try and take out that fire because it's going to shoot at us. Um, Shall I go in the in the hurty hurty room of hurt? I think I will. Ow. Okay. And it's only spiders. Uh, looks like that might be the secret room to the left though. Ouch again. Unicorn horn. Uh, but I have to give up my yum heart. I don't really want to give up my yum heart. You know how much I love the unicorn horn though. It's fun. Oh, these fires take so long to put out. I apologise. Um, oh, that one's a bit quicker. So I'm going to have to hurt myself on the way out as well now. This isn't looking great, is it? Um, should drop some bombs on. Oh, I don't think I even hurt him. Bad timing. Okay, so I feel good hugging um, the wall along the bottom here and then just going left and right accordingly. Like a very old style arcade game. Almost done. Let's watch out for those explosives. I think they're the worst, really. Magic 8 ball. Tears up. And a card. Chariot, which has the effect of the unicorn horn, which I love. And so we still didn't pick up any keys, did we? So we can't go in the shop or unlock the chest that we got in the spike room, whatever you want to call it. Um, so, on to the next stage, I'm just going to have a sip of tea. Maggie's looking rather like a crazy old lady by the pool on holiday. Um, ah! Trying to take these guys out. Slip through. Oh, no, no, not slipping through at all. This isn't good. Oh, let's use a chariot. Have it. Right. I've only got half a heart left now. That was a complete noob moment of just, I, I'm, I'm going to die. Oh, that was not good. I don't think, oh, eight minutes in. Let's, let's give you a little bit more. That's not quite enough for one episode, is it? So, new game. Let's see if we can do better. Oh, try not to get blown up, but too late. Uh, see what this does. Tears down. Not good. See what's in here. Um, remote detonator. That lets us put bombs... I've got the bombs from it. It lets us put bombs down and explode them at will when we want. But um, we really want to keep the yum heart right now, so... Uh, oh... Okay, key. Oh, now we can use the Yum Heart. We've been hurt enough. Um, okay. And probably just one or two rooms this way. Um, I'll use it on the chest because 
Oh, this that is it. Wonder if we can get the blood bag if we're lucky. Ooh, lots of coins. Um. Take him out, he's being a bit fiddly. Right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to risk giving it one more heart and then I'm going to blow it up and hopefully get some hearts back. Yeah, so then we're, then we're going to win as such. And I've got one heart back, so hopefully I can get by with that. That was a bit of an experiment. Got five bombs on us, I'm going to try this wall for the secret room. Lucky. Uh, which also means that, oh, more coins, another dime, man, which also means we can blow our way into the side of the shop. I wouldn't recommend it when you're just, you know, out browsing, shopping, and lots of uh, shops in real life don't appreciate you blowing a hole in the side of their wall, but um, I'm just desperate to buy something here. Maggie is a shopaholic, she has to get into the shop even if it means blowing a hole in the wall. So let's see who we've got, who we're up against here. So it's Widow. It's called Widow. This horrible upside down head thing that like lays eggs and just is generally not very friendly. Let's drop a bomb. Didn't do much good. Let's get rid of that spawner. Thought it's a problem. Oh no, it's not good at all. Undo my jump for a bit. Maybe I'm overheating. So I think I, you still don't have enough for an episode, do you? I only survived about three minutes there. So if we go back to the main menu, shall we mix it up a bit and um, try out Eve? At least when Eve gets hurt, she brings out some nasty tactics such as her bird and the curse. Which makes her extremely powerful, don't you know? Right, so PhD. Um, coins, thank you very much. Uh, I think having a PhD should mean you get paid more as well. <laughs> but um, better pills is enough for me, I don't really mind. Just joking. A um, couple of flies. The harmless ones, which makes it even more. Annoying. It's like just, just get, just go away. Just, just stop bugging me. Except that'd be bugs. Are flies bugs? I guess flies are kind of bugs, aren't they? Do flies count as bugs? I mean, I, I don't think bug is a scientific term anyway. It's just a opinion, isn't it? So I can call flies bugs if I want. I think. I'm pretty sure I can actually, I don't know what I'm thinking of. Um, oh, it poops in the way. It's like Space Invaders with the rocks, except they poop. Right, boom. So there's the boss. Ooh, lusty mini boss. So obviously you got a thing for face masks. And almost done. Oh, 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 that's close. Okay. We know it's always good pills because luck up. That's a new one. That must be expansion. Luck. Okay. Um, I will try this for a secret room, but the secret rooms are so stingy in the new expansion, it seems. They don't, they're never where you want them to be. Let's get that blue rock. Get those blue hearts from the blue rock. It seems to be a hero version of Gemini. And it's hit us, so our birds come out to play. Is that the first time we've been hit this level? Maybe it is. Um, it's helping us out a bit there. It's a bit fiddly though, because I did take out that blue rock, so I've got nothing to hide behind in that corner now. So it's all a bit one a bit lopsided, my usual tactic of running around. This corner I just kind of have to keep on going. I can't get him stuck on that corner there. Get this angry baby, the bird's getting in there. Peck, 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 peck. Sort of that. 
Come on, we'll miss her. Don't have any damage up yet. Yet more blue hearts and lipstick for range. And we'll move on. So. Fly. Oh, angry baby. <laughs> bit, bit gross point blank there. Um, the key. Good. Excellent. Oh, 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 finding a way from the angry baby. Right. Ah, uh, coin. Oh, I want to put a bomb by the blue rock, but I don't have a bomb. Sun's bomb. Um, and I have some coins for that there arcade, but oh, I have a bomb as well now. Let's use the bomb on here. Um. Oh, and it's, oh, mm, at least I got a key back. That was a bit silly, actually. I shouldn't have really used that key on there, just in case. Oh, Notchy's pickaxe again. Look, I do love Minecraft. You guys know that I love Minecraft, but the, the pickaxe isn't really the best item in Isaac. Um, so I'm going to move on. Or shall I, shall I grab that pill? Uh, well, we know that pills are always good now, so maybe I should. Health up. Good call. Right, so... Um, so that's the shop, so we can go in the arcade now. Try and get something good. Go for this dude first because he has a fly item occasionally. Um, I don't think there's anything really as good as that on the on the machine. Let's see if we can get the fly item first. Yes, okay. So that's good, that makes a huge difference, and then we'll do the machine, and that's healed us up, and what we got, another heart, to use half a heart one here, get the coins, get the heart, use the coins on here, more coins, throw them in as well, a pill, so this does. It's always going to be good because we've got the PhD and we're out of coins. Shall we blow it up? I think so. I mean, it's not the most... Um, I think for this series, I'm not always going to be like the absolute optimum, most efficient way of playing. Like, I should have really left them there and I could come back later when I find some coins. But just for the sake of making videos... Um, I can be running around for hours sometimes. I mean, if I save absolutely every little thing just in case, I don't think it actually really pays off in terms of time invested. I don't think like having one extra little pill or something really makes a difference to whether I complete the run through or not. Um, so actually even not making videos, I don't think it's worth the time sometimes. Bird, could you attack one of them for me? <laughs> Thank you. Um, okay, there we go. I could do with a bit more damage. Try and take these guys out quick. Try and get the shots on target. Okay. Mate, does luck... They seem to be curving a bit more than usual, those shots. So I wonder if luck actually affects my shooting as well. I presumed it was just for items. Or oh, actually, I guess maybe it's for the arcade. It's for your luck in the arcade. That would make sense. Um, don't go blow up the other one? Yep. Yeah. Good stuff. Go this way. Okay, these ones are easy. Oh, I don't have a key to get into that special room. That's a bit annoying. Um, is there a key in the shop? I only, want, I only have one coin, so I don't think I can get a key for one coin. Um, so I guess the plan is, see if I can find secret room for once. I've been avoiding it, but I could really do with it. If I can find a secret room with coins in 
and then might be able to buy a key in the shop. No, it's Radioactive Spider, which is a really good power-up, actually. So that's cool. That was worth it anyway. Probably better than anything that's going to be in the trinket room, actually. Um, mind you, it's very negative of me. I mean, pretty much everything good can appear in the trinket room, so as far as I know. Go have a sip of tea. Okay, let's see what boss we've got. Hey, monstro. Slow you down now. You go slow you right down there, matey. Going a little bit too fast. Just what kind of speed you think you were doing just then, sir? I suggest you slow down. Um. Oh. Big nasty shots of nastiness. Oh, slow, slow, slow. Oh, yeah. Well, now we've been hit. Our bird's in on the action. Get in there. Go for the eyes. Um. Okay, cool. Belt speed. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> um, let's be sensible this time and not take either of those. I think I've only got three red hearts. And uh, the one on the right is power up and the one on the left is nine lives. And mm. The thing is, because we started a new game, we need to actually 100% the items and everything. But I'd rather concentrate on completing. Um... You never know, there might be a situation with loads of hearts where I'm quite happy to take the nine lives. So it doesn't actually hurt you in general if you can avoid if you can afford it. It's just it's generally not worth it, in my opinion, if it means giving up a large chunk of health. Because there's not a whole load Shoo! <laughs> bless me. Bless my face. There's not a whole load you can actually really do with um nine lives with only one heart which is what you get wow that was quite dramatic wasn't it oh get the tnt yes lots of explosions around here it's not even wednesday you should all go and watch wheezy waiter super gluttony super belly laser what the heck Super Belly Laser out the back of him as well. Um, oh, come on, bird. Do your thing. Get in there. Can't even slow this. Slow this gluttony belly laser. Slow. That's right. Oh, God. Guess usually, yeah. Usually it does like eight shots, but because this is super, it does like all big blast of shots and does a laser out both sides. Laser out both sides doesn't make a whole lot of difference actually, but um, those shots when you get close are really nasty. to the right because he's moving towards me so I walk into them by the time he's moved across or not go this way now oh why is he still going over there come here Almost done. Oh. Few more. Deep in concentration now because I don't really want to take any damage. Oh, 
I'd like to say I never want to take any damage, but um, to be fair, I'm often quite lazy and clumsy because I don't care and I think I can get by getting a bit of damage. And really, I shouldn't. Really, I should always try not to get damaged. What I used to call the one heart mentality or half heart mentality. Um, ooh. Oh, these are, see that fire? Fire, fire at me. Fire, fire, fire at me. Um, see so what's in the room rather than in the chest. Oh, it's our little ghost baby friend again. Hi, ghost baby. How's it going? We did pretty good last time. Hope you're well. Let's do this. Right. So, ooh, lots of coins. Um, let's go see what's down the middle, I guess, as well. Ah, oh, that's like an interesting gold key thing. I picked that up once before and it seems to add to your keys. So I think there must be special locks it undoes, but I don't know what. Um, oh, okay. Golden poop drops loads of coins. I don't know why I insisted on shooting that before the, before the enemies. That was a bit foolish of me, really. But um, for some reason, that just felt like the thing to do. I wanted the cash. My greed got the better of me. Um, there we go. Boom, health up. Love it. Uh, is that a key? Oh, yeah, it was so. It's unreachable. We could do it with a key to get into that shop because we got loads of money. Got cash to spend, son. I don't think this fashion trend either starting to really go catch on. Um, so, let's go. Around, I guess, and see if there's any keys in this far flung corner. Oh, die spiders, die. Does the uh, slow spider web thing work on spiders? Maybe it doesn't. Oh, no, it does. Be interesting if it doesn't because they are spiders. I guess it would be a bit unfair, though. Okay, didn't know what it was, but they're always good because we got PhD. Oh, hit. Damn it. Careless of me. We could escape this room because the door's been blown open. Uh, we'll try and finish it off though, yeah. Just to get a one, kit, a one coin reward, but it could have been a key, which would have been useful. So, uh, uh, we're stuffed, aren't we? Seems to be a heart over here. Half a heart. Okay, that's something. Better than nothing. Um, I guess I'm going to have to go for it with only one and a half hearts then because I can't get into the shop. Because there isn't... Oh I, oh, I could guess for a secret room. Shall I guess for the four? But I mean, it, it never is at the moment. It is next to that uh, painful room though and the painful room seems to keep on connecting to the secret room. So, no, it's not. It's not though. Okay. Let's just uh, do our best. Ooh, it's a little girdie. Oh, it's a mini girdie. But it moves. We can't use our usual tactic. Mini girdie actually moves and doesn't let us just spam it. As you mind you, it kind of still lets us spam it. Especially as the shots are always the same. Oh, wasn't expecting that. Mini girdie. Oh. Shit just got real, son. Got our curse out. Down on low health. Eve's curse. Come on. Luckily that uh, slow... Ooh, I think that slow saved us. More health. More hearts. Ooh, that was uh, exciting. Right. 
caves number two. Ah, so we got an arcade. So, mm, uh, oh, maybe we should try and heal up. See if we can heal up with um, and keep 15 coins. Yes, okay, that's good. Maybe I'll leave it at that. Actually, oh no, that is all we need. I thought I had six empties for some reason, but I only actually have five. Well, I have three empties, you know, three empties out of six hearts. But I only actually had two empties out of five, so that's good. Gotcha. Half heart, we can use that later. So it's over this way. Oh, let's go for explosives at us. Your distance, get ready to run. Those, oh, I was about to say those ones in the corners don't seem to be moving, but that's because they're stuck behind holes, so that's good. Sort them out. They have not spawned in a good position for them. Great position for us. Get rid of these spiders. Right, let's get rid of this double one. Break it up. Get that half heart, good. Um, was it a full heart back there, or half a heart? I think it was half, wasn't it? Um, oh, it's another trinket room. We need a key for, and we still don't have any keys. Hopefully, we can win some in the arcade. Okay, um, might just leave that there because it's. Uh... Oh, I know. We can uh, we can check in this room, can't we? And then we can. Oh, that's good. And then we can take that heart. Right. So we can try and get some keys in the arcade. See if we. Oh, careful! Oh, that's such a waste. Right. Um. See if we can get keys. Blue heart, at least. Ah, oh, here's some keys, fingers crossed. Nope, those luck pills didn't help there. Keys again. Yes, okay. Now we can look in the shop and the trinket room, because we got two. So, 50% sale. Not hugely exciting, but potentially useful later. So better. Actually, let's grab the bomb as well. Just for good measure. And... It's spiderweb slowing us down. Uh, see, in, what's, see what's in the trinket room. Damage up. Always good. Check the fires for coins. No luck. So it's a bit clear, this side. We clear what we can. We'll save our coins to use the arcade to hopefully heal up when we need it. Rather well, than try and max out the arcade for now. Oh, it's busy in here, okay. Try and get the running around dudes first before, oh, before releasing the flies, I spoke too soon. They're just, oh, we've got the fly hat though, have we? It's just disguised by the uh, crown of thorns, but um, I think, yeah, flies are harmless now because we've got the fly hat. Yeah, looks that way. They usually attack flies that come out of those. Loads more coins. Um, just clear the way first so we know what the deal is. Okay, and one more. Can't get to that one. Which of these guys? Not sure if they hurt each other with those or not. don't think they do. I think they're 
immune to their own attacks, which is always a bonus um, for them anyway. Come at me, bro. Oh, maybe spoke to you sooner. Okay, what we got here? Two of clubs. I don't know what two of clubs does. Um, I used it once before in an empty room and nothing happened. So maybe we should use it in a room with monsters in. Still nothing seems to happen. So I don't know. don't know what it does still. Oh, damn. Got hit there. Wasn't good. Oh, and it dropped an extra bomb. So let's get a bomb and get that blue rock. Ooh, damage up more. Nice. And okay. So over here, loads of spiders over here. Sort them out. Pest control. Why did I say pest control? Spiders are actually really good at um at getting rid of flies and everything. Those of you who've watched the Limbo LP, presuming that the relevant episodes have come out, will know that um, I am i don't actually uh, hate spiders that much. I actually really like spiders and I think they're brilliant animals. And I always feel a bit bad killing them. At least I did in Limbo. I don't feel so bad about killing them in this game. Um, I guess they're not quite as realistic and they're just very, very annoying in this game. I feel like um, I should try and get some more from the arcade. However, I feel like I should keep 15 coins for a future shop. So, um, we will give two coins to this guy. And maybe we will use some red heart up on this, which gives us more coins, of course and get another heart and maybe give some more coins to this guy i mean if we can make the do heart donation machine pop then we get an extra heart container which is good so it's worth trying to do that maybe getting lots of bombs however which is also cool and one more coin a um, couple of keys that would be good a couple of keys but we didn't win it so um so we just blow everything up because that's always hilarious at least in my mind right okay we got another key from that so that's good got some hearts there got quite a few hearts lying around on the level so um oh which maybe i should have used from the donation machine but I can go and grab them if we're looking a bit nasty after the boss. Hopefully we won't be because we're pretty good on health at the moment. Now it's a husk which so far seems to have been pretty easy as long as you concentrate on him. A bit like Duke of Flies. If you concentrate on just hitting him uh, then you're alright. And I've got... The flies don't do any damage so I've just got to watch out for when he spawns spiders. And yeah, done. Those shooty flies don't seem to still be dangerous, though, with, um, even with a hat. Maybe they're not, though. Maybe they come up and they just... Uh, I don't know. So we've got lots of hearts to donate. So let's get our wings. Let's get some damage. Oh, I wasn't... I didn't know it took quite that much. Actually, I guess I must have known. Let's just move on. Um, I blew up the whole arcade anyway, didn't I? Ah, oh, Necropolis, so this is an alternative. Oh, that's a new mon monster. Okay. Is it done? Yeah, those are all turrets. I'm going to sneeze. Phew! That must be because I went swimming this morning. I, I seem to have a slight allergic reaction to chlorine. So, um, it's a bit annoying. I seem to always sneeze and stuff after swimming. Uh, 
Oh yes, we've got 16 coins, it's worth going in here. No, I don't think we, well, mm, we found out the beggar drops pills and stuff eventually, doesn't he? When he nicks all the coins. But I, don't, I still don't think I'm a fan of him nicking all the coins, so I'd rather <laughs> be in control of my, myself. So, Okay, so these guys, you want to shoot the hearts, the uh, heads attack you, but are actually invincible. You have to destroy their hearts. Okay. I'm a bit sniffly now, I've sneezed. So... Right, so let's get rid of this guy. This is like a whole big bunch of flies around a uh, fly. Okay, there we go. Done. Um, so this is actually the depths we're in, isn't it? Which means that the first mum boss is coming up. Um, oh, I'm very hurt now. Oh, I've got to dodge all these things. Goodness. Ah, oh, too late. No good. Oh well. Um, like I was saying, the mum boss, the first mum boss was coming up, and maybe I'd spent a little too much on those upgrades, and maybe I should have just got one of those upgrades from the devil room instead of both because it didn't actually leave me with many red hearts but anyway i think that was a fun one so i will see you later